In 2015, Houston was rated by Forbes as America's fastest growing city. Katy, Clear Lake, A Leaf, Spring, not just the inner city. We look forward with high hopes for this place in which we live. What's to come? Let's look back to see the story history gives. We'll start at the beginning, at the founding of this town, when the Allen brothers paid just $9,300 down to purchase uplands, wetlands, bottomlands, and prairie, one location, one new region, full of lands that vary. They got 20 waterways, three rivers, and a mass of piney trees. Through the water, cattle crossed Galveston Bay, oyster reefs, with ease. Jump to the 1900s, the great storm came blowing through, the beaches may have shrank, but the city surely grew. Then the spindle top struck oil and Houston started booming, as the population rate and height of buildings started zooming. In 1904, we touched the clouds with Houston's first skyscraper. The city kept growing with buildings and roads, acre by acre. The heights were created and the ship channel was dug. Now getting from the bay to Buffalo Bayou was as simple as a shrug. We look forward with high hopes for this place in which we live. What's to come? Let's see the story history continues to give. We wanted people to see this place, enjoy the beauty of our town. So in 1914, Herman Park was built for campers from all around. Then in 1932, the city started a grand tradition with the first Houston Fat Stock and Rodeo competition. The city grew and grew, spreading far and wide, so the city of Houston was incorporated and allied. Municipalities had popped up around, like Spring Branch and an airport to get wheels off the ground. Nearly 400,000 residents by the year 1940, which started to cause problems when the weather got stormy. The flat prairie lands once were in place, now gone. Homes and businesses would flood at a very fast pace. And so was created the Harris County Flood Control District, which helped with the floods and made Houston optimistic. We look forward with high hopes for this place in which we live. What's to come? Let's see the story our history now gives. In 1948, we built Interstate 45, connecting Houston to Dallas in just one quick drive. Houstonians needed drinking water from a trustworthy source, so Lake Houston and Conroe were built over a 25-year course. 1965 was an important year for Houston. The Astrodome popped up and Congress fought pollution. By passing the Clean Air Act, creating new groups in Houston to organize clean waterways and protect the institution. The Corps and others created Attics and Barker Reservoirs so that flood control and clean water were never too far. In 1977, master plan communities caught on and we saw the creation of Clear Lake City and beyond. Since the 1970s, the eco-regions of Houston have stayed intact and as the city keeps growing, we'll need a plan to enact conservation, preservation, and protective support, all the land and waterways, both long and short. We look forward with high hopes for this place in which we live. What's to come? Let's see the story our history will give. Here's where the Gulf Houston Regional Conservation Plan comes in, to prevent ecological disasters before they begin. The plan has two phases, the first of which is land acquisition and conservation to enrich. Houston's water bodies and expansive lands from Katy's Big Prairies to Galveston Sands. Phase two is a bit of a combination of restoration, maintenance, and education so that everyone can enjoy the land in which we live and find all the treasures our ecoregions give.